I'm Vance DeGeneres, and this is The Beef. Tonight on The Beef. Mr. Halford? He's called a mysterious recluse. Mr. Douglas Halford? A strange misfit in their quiet community. He's above the law. And they want him out. We gonna miss you around here. Then... Whoa. Look at the environment, it's wonderful. It was paradise. We are all really lucky. Until one man committed a crime so horrible... What is the violation, Ron? It was unspeakable. I can't tell you. Until... Now, you will do it my way or else. And oh, Lenin, Stalin, Brezhnev, Eugene. Human meat is very sweet. The Cold War is just heating up. And now, from Los Angeles, here's Vance DeGeneres. We all dream of living in utopia, or in a utopia-style place at least, we dream of raising our families in a community where the horrors of crime, violence, solicitors, and crime no longer threaten those we love. But reporter Miles Berkowitz warns us to be careful what we wish for. Welcome to Westlake. It's a modern day paradise, but even paradise has rules. This is a story about a man who broke one of those rules. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know anymore. I think it should come out as far as everybody else's docks. It was not a normal, standard dock. He has two things out. Right. Like a U. This is the trouble in paradise. The reclusive Bill Rowland's boat dock. To his neighbors, it's a serious problem. Do you have a problem with his dock? It's blocking my view, as you can see. To get to the bottom of this beef, I spoke to the man who approved this controversial dock. What is your full name? Uh, Crosby Ventress. Are you related to David Crosby, the singer? No. Are you related to Van Helen? Uh, no. What makes you an expert on docks? One of my inclinations was invention, which led to the docking system for the Apollo. You designed the docking system on the Apollo flights? That is correct. I have the patents on, on that docking system. Does that include Apollo 13? Yes. Is the dock built within code? Absolutely. Is it a navigational hazard? Indeed not. But the Apollo 13 mission had a lot of trouble. I know, I saw the movie. Not with the docking system. Crosby explained the dock beef this did, way. Bill Rowland has a U-shaped dock. Most of the docks in Westlake are T-shaped docks. What Crosby spent several hours trying to explain is that the U-shaped dock is actually the same size as a T-shaped dock when you dock a party boat parallel to T-shaped dock. <gasps> Confused? So am I. But if the man who saved the Apollo 13 astronaut says this dock is legal, that's good enough for the beef. So if the dock didn't break any homeowner's code, what was the beef? This man believes the problem was not with the dock, but with the new homeowners association. They just allow that authority to go to their head because it's something new to them where they think they're a, a god or running a Gestapo. I cannot find one single microscopic violation whatsoever that Bill has violated, and that's troublesome. We have a total of four signatures on this dock. I don't know what Bill has done wrong. It meets all the requirements. They said the violation is a secret. We have approved it, and it's offensive. I, past president, stand by our decision to approve this dock. Victor's accusations were terrifying, and I asked him what the alleged Westlake Gestapo does to an individual who breaks one of their rules. But our interview was cut short when Victor informed us of his fatal allergy to bee stings. The time had finally come to meet the epic Bill Rowland. On my journey up Lake, Crosby graciously pointed out his neighbor's violations. This also is a navigational hazard. The Pelican? No. What? The island. I see. Before my meeting with the now legendary Bill Rowland, Victor and Crosby left me with one last demonstration of the differences between a floating dock and Bill Rowland's infamous stationary dock. As I approached the immense gates of Westlake's Camelot, I was struck by the fact that this would be the first time the mysterious Bill Rowland ever spoke about his notorious dock on camera. Unless, of course, you count the nine security cameras which guard his fabled estate. So finally we get to meet... Bill Rowland. How has this whole dock controversy affected your lifestyle? Not in my wildest imagination did I ever believe that a, that a simple dock 
on a lake could cause the type of uh, distress that this has caused me. Never. So why don't you just tear down the dock and build another one that people would like? That's a great question. Um, I think you've got to draw your line in the sand. I will not bend when I know I'm right, when I know I follow the rules, and when I build something that I know is beautiful and I, and I know that I've uh, followed all the guidelines in order to achieve it. And I'm sick and tired of the slander that's going on in this community. Our interview was cut short by a phone call from Ron Reese, the current president of the Homeowners Association. What is the violation, Ron? Tell me right now what the violation is. You're not even sure whether there's a violation and yet you put me through all of this? I'd like to get an end to this thing right now. I assume that phone call that we just had uh, was eman emanated from that office and we're gonna go down there right now. Okay. Are we gonna bring the dog? The touchingly human Bill no. Rowland decided to confront his nemesis, Ron Reese, at the headquarters of the Westlake Homeowners Association. Is that his car? I believe it is. It's a nice car. Ron Reese's combative secretary threw herself in our path, perhaps to give her boss time to crawl out a bathroom window. Ron, Ron is not here. I am a secretary, I'm doing right. my job, and he is harassing me. And you're part of it now. The charming Bill Rowland pacified the hostile secretary while I chose to wait outside, hoping I wasn't in trouble. And when she told us to uh, quit filming, you quit filming. When she asked us to leave, we did left. Did you guys quit filming? When, did you quit filming when she said stop filming? Yeah, we did that. Ron Reese never did talk to me or the charismatic Bill Rowland. But as I was plotting my escape from the Westlake Archipelago, I ran into this exasperated neighbor who had a clever solution to the dock beef. He just took it like this and turned it sideways. Could it really be that simple? I ran to present the new peace plan to the heroic Bill Rowland. Which I but rather than calm him down, it met with unexpected results. I will consider every approval on that dock, including the gazebo. You're going to build a gazebo? And I intend to go ahead and build it. Apparently, this story is far from over. The beef will return to Westlake when the new gazebo is completed. But for now, and for the beef, I'm Miles Berkowitz. Miles is standing by right now at the Westlake Yacht Club with an update. Tell us, Miles, what do the neighbors have to say about Bill Rowland's plans to build his gazebo? Well, that's a really good question, and I probably should have asked that, but I didn't. So, um, I don't know, really. Thank you, Miles. Very interesting report. And now, Migraine Boy. I hate mowing the stupid grass. It just grows back. Flipping rocks! Hey, what you doing, Migraine Boy? I'm mowing the lawn. What does it look like? Bad enough, I got this headache, and now I gotta deal with your questions! You oh, annoying sissy Mary. Hey, doodle -dee -dee. Stop! I'm a magic leprechaun, caught in the sprinkler. Let me go, I'll grant you three wishes. No. We'll be right back after this.